Hey guys, um, sorry I've been out for a little bit, um, I had a, a motor removed, like the last video I explained, I felt really horrible, I'm taking time off to kind of like get better on myself with daily and everything, um, okay, I'm back, um, today's video I'll talk about some, one of the side effects that I had from my surgery, um, it has to do with the scar tissue, um, I had the surgery back in... 2013 yeah 2013 now my colonectomy you know opened up my belly button down and everything um from there on i didn't have any issues with it i've had a little diarrhea but you know quickly taking care of it nothing major nothing drastic about two years ago when i started my new job um at the beginning of the year i was having a little bit of uh, medical problems I got the flu, my blood sugar spiked up real bad, um, got that fixed, and then a couple of weeks later, about two, three weeks later, um, I ate something that was expired, something bad, and, you know, it just hurt my stomach, but it went to the point where I couldn't stand. I was on the ground trying to find a position that was comfortable, nothing would help me, everything was hurting my stomach. Um, cramping and everything and I ended up going to the hospital because I was just throwing up and everything I remember I went and um, they just said it was you know it's a stomach virus or something you know just drink plenty of, wit, plenty of liquid and everything and even but the attendee the residents there and the resident there told me you know she asked me do you really want to go home or do you want to stay here and me to check you out <clears throat> now I don't like hospitals so I got out of there um, I was only given liquid, so the next day and some, like, um, anti-nausea, sulfan, I can't remember the name of the medicine, but, um, got home, didn't get any better, went right back in. Um, I had a tube, in t um, inserted through my nose, all the way down, pumped out my stomach, and from everything that I had, and was just giving liquids, 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 um, IV with, you know, everything <clears throat> um I, I stayed there two nights just to make sure that you know that i was okay that i was able to you know sustain something i was just given clear blood you know clear liquid diet and you know i was holding inside i was released about you know it's from the third day i got released and when i got home like I couldn't eat anything, but I could hear the liquid just moving. Like if nothing was working, it was just like the wash, you know, like the water just like swishing through. I let it go. Ate something the next day. It just I couldn't digest it. It stayed in my system. And then when I finally went back to work two days after, I started getting like these big rashes all over. And my boss sent me home. <coughs> Called the hospital, and they said that I had an infection to go back in. So from there, it was obvious. They just said, you know what, you're just going to have surgery. So they opened me back up. And when I woke up, they explained to me that apparently what had happened was as I had, through the surgery site, I was building up scar tissue. Now, the, start, the scar tissue was building up on top of, you know, organs, intestine, and everything. So it kind of started choking everything up so it wouldn't allow food to process correctly and it was messing with my whole entire system they cleared up as much as possible and they were right because after I came out um, right away they gave me a normal diet I ate and I was able to digest things now it was weird because I was fine but the doctor did tell me luckily for me it took years for that to develop Sometimes it could take months, it could take days, and I could have it again. I'm not saying no, and I mean, it, my situation may be a little bit different from y'all's, or maybe somebody who had something like this before could probably have it. But, um, yeah, I could have it again. Again, the doctor said it could be days, months, years, like I had it. But it's just because there's, from the outside, you have that little scar. But from the inside, you have all of it still building up. And that's the problem. 
I can only, you don't control it, I don't control it, you know, it just happens. So some of the symptoms you might look for will be that, it will be that <clears throat> your stomach starts hurting and it doesn't go away quickly. You might not be able to stomach anything. You might have something like myself that you have something that triggers it. Like my like me, I had I eat I had eaten um expired chicken. I took a couple of bites and I was like, you know, this doesn't taste right and I threw it away. But what I ate was effective enough for me to trigger everything else. Um What was I gonna say? <laughs> well yeah. Um it could happen. I mean just look for those signs. If you have a normality of, or you're normally outputting, you're doing this, and all of a sudden you don't have anything, you have pain, go to the doctor. Right now, in these times, I don't want to recommend so much going to the hospital because, you know, there's so many, so many patients or there's so many people with COVID or whatever diseases that you can get affected real quickly from. But wear masks go in there and try to get us help as much as possible i know it might not be quickly because again because of the covid patients they might run a shortage of things but if you feel that it's too if you feel too much pain if it's unbearable go to the doctor go to the hospital er try to get something because i'm not trying to fear monger or get y'all scared but you never know, especially having a colectomy. I mean, now you have a different ballpark. Before, it could just be a stomach ache, so you know, just drink liquids and you're good. But now, because of the surgeries and whatnot, you might have something different. I mean, thankfully, it's been about two years and I haven't had anything. Every once in a while, I'll get a small pain and it goes away, so it's not much for me to say, oh, okay, it's the same thing again. But I do monitor it. I do check up on it. I, I touch my stomach to make sure that I don't have any sites that's too full, too bloated, or sore, sensitive, or anything. For that same reason. Because, you know, again, it's a new ballpark. I don't know perfectly what's going on sometimes. Like, whenever I have diarrhea, it hurts all around. It's not just the site. It's my intestine. It just turns differently and I'm, it sits me down. It literally sits me down and I'm just there for a good five, 10 minutes and then I'm better. Once before, just go to the restroom. So everything changes. So a lot of the, that's what I'm saying, make sure that you keep an eye on your symptoms. If it gets too, too bad, go to a specialist, go to a doctor. But yeah, that's one of the things that I have with my scar tissue. What did you guys have? You know, just any conditions, anything, problems, just write below. See you later, guys.